Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with a new video. This is a little bit different from the 1320 videos. I wanted to make a review video for a friend. Uh, my, a friend of mine is the creator of the WWE uh, hack client or forge mod for uh, Minecraft. I wanted to make a video of the features from like an anarchy standpoint. Every time you see someone making a video for a client, they're always showing off all these big, huge features on like high pixel skyblock and getting these huge kill counts with kill aura and stuff like that. Sorry, I bumped my microphone. I wanted to make something from an anarchy standpoint, finding, you know, finding ores and, uh, you know, using them at a, uh, a farm of some sort. So I wanted to make a video showing off the WWE client from a normal perspective of the anarchy server side of using clients rather than the just, hey, let's go get myself banned on an alt just because I'm having some fun somewhere. So first of all, you can get the client at wweclient.com. I am personally using an outdated version of the mod. I will admit that. It has the, uh, I'm using the 1.12.2 uh, 1.21 client, I believe, uh, which allows for the forge mods. There's a couple forge mods that I use, like an auto fishing mod, that allow uh, all this to work. So that being said, if you want to get the download, it's actually over here. You can get the 1.13.1. There's also the 1.12. And he's got an install video, which is very simple. I'll make my own install video for this if anybody wants me to. I use, uh, personally, I use the multi-MC. Uh, if somebody wants me to make a video on how to use clients or forge mods with this, it is a little bit confusing at first. I can make a video on how to do it. So that being said, um, people want me to make videos of me back on 4B4T. I've been getting quite a few requests. I'm not really up for that. I don't want to be a quote-unquote Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, I just play to have fun i'm not here to make minecraft videos <laughs> so that being said let's switch over to mc and we'll go from there so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to re-log in the middle of this because my other client or my other account is at another location but as you can see i'm back in my base on 4b and i have a lot of features enabled for this hack this client. So as you can see, I have uh, chams, tracers, criticals, no push, mob ESP, color list, auto fish, um, item ESP, auto fish should be turned off. I don't know why that's on. Entity ride, portal ESP, no render, low shield, crystal log, name tags, combat info, camera clip, custom font, anti weather, auto totem, auto respawn. Inventory walk, blood particles, chest ESP, anti bot, player ESP, Fulbright, rainbow enchant, outline ESP, speed mine, horse jump, and anti knockback all enabled. So, what that basically allows me to do is so I'll explain basically Chams Tracers, uh, Portal ESP, Name Tags. Um, chest ESP, player ESP, um, and rainbow enchant, those all allow me to basically see people straight through walls so I know if anybody's near my base. Uh, I know if anybody's actually tracking me, I can see them more easily because there will be a line across the screen to the person for the tracers. They'll be flashing all these fancy colors, quote unquote. I'm making hand gestures you can't see because I don't have a camera. Um... And then the portal ESP, if I'm like running along a highway or something like that, I'll see the portals on the side because they will glow through the walls. Uh, let's go running around a little bit. I need to turn my auto fishing off or my thing's just going to randomly throw out uh, fishing rods. There we go. Entity ride is something that like allows you to use pigs and stuff like that to uh, ride. Why do I have... Oh yeah, I have two accounts. I was like, why do I have two beds? My portal that's broken... So, first of all, we'll go in and I'll show off my... 
I'll show this off with free cam. So free cam's really cool. Uh, yeah, I got bored with slabs. Can you tell? Um, free cam probably my favorite feature because you can actually like go around, see what's around you without having to actually worry um, about like getting nailed or something like that by uh, other stuff. I wish there was a way that people somebody could maybe fix it so it would stay like this all the time I don't know if there's a rendering fix for that or not or if it's just like an anti-cheat feature to try to keep people from doing exactly what I'm doing but I got my first iron golem finally I got my farm here probably this is going to end up being the largest farm on the server I'm sure of it um because I'm going to expand it this way as well I'm going to expand it out Come on. But as you can see, the giant hole in the ground, I have by hand dug this all out. There are doors all the way across. These do all count as quote-unquote houses. So I should be getting villagers left, right, and center here soon. These doors I need to lower as well. Um, but I'm going to expand this to be a gigantic cube, basically. Like an underground farm for all these guys and I should be able to put half slabs over the top to keep things from falling through or glass um, it will keep entities from falling through and it'll actually keep this all lit now that being said nothing spawns in my area because it's literally as far as can be Hey, a helicopter outside my window that's weird um, as far as can be for spawn radius to where I'm usually standing nothing spawns so that's a pretty nice thing but that's definitely been one of the most helpful things is the free cam um let me show you uh kill aura for exp grinding i have quite a few of these traps set up um i have one that's a double spider spawner that people have seen in other videos that i've made but this is the more basic one Basically, all you do is turn on Kill Aura. I have the key binded to R. Very easy to bind keys in this. You just open up the chat and hit dot bind, type the feature name, and hit the letter. Very simple. This is a very crummy grinder. But it's close to home, so I don't really complain. But I literally just stand here, move forward a little bit, get my string, open up the chest. As you can see, I've used this quite a bit. But this is not the good one. But let's go find some ores, let's say. Because I'm running low anyway. Oh yeah, I did lower this. Okay. So this does have speed hacks and stuff in it. I don't personally use them. Because I just... I find them annoying. My hunger goes down way too quickly. And on 4B4T at least, if you use anti-hunger hacks... Um, and you touch water, you die almost instantly. Those are two more I'm going to have to build. Um, but you just die very quickly. So I don't really want to use these anti-hunger hacks because you, just, you die so quickly once you hit water. There's no point. Um, let's see. So I have my thing set to X for looking at ores and stuff through walls. As you can see, there's tons of diamonds, a lot of lava. A lot of gold, but this will be a great spot for me to start looking for diamonds. And even then, I have that right there that is all the way down to almost lava for a mine shaft, which is really cool. That's almost a bedrock mine shaft, which I really like bedrock mine shafts. There's also a spawner way over that way that I can see with chest ESP. There's something over there that looks like maybe a spider spawner just to the left of my cursor that I can see. I definitely know there's a spider spawner, cave spider spawner over there from the amount of webs. Um, cave spider spawner there, cave spider spawner there, cave spider spawner there. So this is basically all stuff I know I can see and I can go do. I can go modify it, I can go take care of it. Um, I also have my path set up uh, because I'm basically a mole. But as you can see, I'm using an iron pickaxe because I'm basically freaking broke. But we're going to start digging down right here to go get some diamonds because I ain't got none. 
I'm going to have to watch this video back like three times to make sure my cords don't show. So we're just going to dig straight to that gold because I'm running low on gold anyway. I only have like two or three apples left just from some bad luck. There's a chest right there. I'll have to open that up. Oh, nuts. Gravel. I hate gravel in Minecraft. It's got to... Oh, no. That's a spider. Did it spawn from the spawner? Is that a normal spider? That's a normal spider. Okay. So it didn't spawn from you. But as you can see, now I'm in the mine shaft. I can walk around this. I can tell I've been here um, because of me putting down that uh, rock right there. But, you know, or at least somebody's been here. Yeah, I've been in this one. I've been here. So it's me. Nothing to worry about. But we're going to go get my... Uh, we're going to go get my gold and my diamonds here because I am running very low on both. I don't even have torches in the right slot. What am I doing with my life, man? But this is just like normal play from a normal anarchy player. That's all it is. Let's get this gold because I'm low on it anyway. This is a good vein of gold, too. Now, it would help if I actually picked it up, you know? But there you go. Easy peasy gold. Now, we also need the diamonds. So, let's dig down all the way to some diamonds here. Um, and see what I can find. Nothing like a video of digging, right? Because I don't edit my videos. I'm too lazy. I mean, y'all deserve better videos, but shit, I'm a lazy mother trucker. I need to cut down on the swearing. <laughs> Good lord, I'm so high up compared to where the diamonds are. I don't like it. But I need to make a tunnel very low anyway, so... Just dig and go off to the side to make myself a strip mine. I don't have one. And this is far away enough from my uh, stuff that it shouldn't harm anything. So as you can see, I'm almost down low enough. I don't want to open my cords and check, which is why I keep checking that way. I need more iron too, so it's actually useful that there's iron there. But I'm not going to dig my stuff from the stairs. We'll go one down, one more down. I'll go straight across to that gold. And this will be the start to my strip mine. Which I also always need the cobble too. And the redstone. Redstone is insanely important for me. Um, I'm getting into a lot more redstone machine creations. So I definitely need this too. If I wanted the freaking rock, I would have picked it up. Alright. Get this gold. But yeah, this just makes life on an Anarchy server so much easier. So, why not use it, you know? Um, where's some diamonds? I want to end this off getting some diamonds. Those are really far away. I'll dig to those ones. So, I'll dig straight ahead. I won't make myself a maze. I'm basically going to strip mine. Which, good thing, because redstone... I need that. I'm going to make a gigantic farm for... An automated farm for... Uh, whatchamacallit. Um, making paper. I don't need dirt. I have a lot of dirt. Dirt is an abundance in this world. Obviously, it's dirt. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should have Lava ESP. Um, I know it exists. I guess I totally could have seen it coming. <laughs> Let's just not. We'll go straight this way. Because I know it's not going to hit me this way. Sorry if I keep sniffling. I was a little bit sick recently. So it's, uh, it's sniffle season anyway. And I just woke up. I always wake up with a stuffy nose. Because I got stupid nose problems. 
Diamonds! Something I do not have almost any of. Oh, I'm not taking it off the hot bar. But there you go. Easy way to get to the diamonds too because of the uh, client. And, you know, just easy way to start the strip. Ooh. Easy way to start the mining. So. Oh, I dug right into a tunnel of mine, actually. Did I really? Oh, no, I didn't dig into one of my tunnels. Okay. I thought I did. That's okay. I'm going to patch it up anyway because I don't like having open holes in my uh, tunnels for a very obvious reason. I like going completely straight so I don't get lost. Like, I was already lost right there. But as you can see, um, I could enable, like, breadcrumb hacks, but eventually that always kind of catches up to you and you just have lines all over the screen as well. So I don't use the breadcrumb stuff because it's just annoying, irritating. There we go. So I'm fed. So now I can finally fix my pickaxe, which is only efficiency four. It's nothing special. And I got to start fixing my uh, armor as well. But as you can see, that's how easy having a client like WWE makes it. Um, I'm going to switch accounts real quick. Because I want to show you this over at the other grinder. Actually, no, wait. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. Because I know that account doesn't have a sword. So that would be pointless. Um, my main TechX account doesn't even have like armor on it. Kind of funny that I use my alt account more than I use my main account. But that being said, um, this is just you know from my standpoint i think it's a great client it's always been my favorite to use so far and i really do think that this is one of the better clients out there if you request a feature on discord he figures out a way to add it the uh creator of it he it's awesome i mean people suggest uh future client features all the time and I believe he has added a couple of them to the newer versions of this client. So don't be surprised if there's, you know, future client features in a future update. Hey, look, I got a baby. Yes. While I was gone, they repopulated the earth. I need more librarians is my problem. I need more librarians and I need to figure out how to capture these guys. For an iron farm, but the way I'm doing this, I don't think it's possible for me to quote unquote capture them and set up an iron golem farm. But you know, I got more than enough doors. I actually have two rows of doors. I think this will work. If not, I'm going to put a farm in between and expand it further. It just really depends. Um, but I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out Freedom Client if you're an MC player, it'll definitely help you out, definitely make things easier. I have more digging out to do to make my rooms bigger. Uh, the only problem is there is a ravine right here. So I can't really expand that way. I have to expand that way, which I definitely have. You cannot see the end of my tunnel even if you run all the way there. This 5x5 five five tunnel... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... The 6x5 six five tunnel actually runs very far this is a uh, 2000 block tunnel because I uh, set up a more advanced version of Minebot that I found and um, it was like a private version that was leaked and it detects water it detects lava um, detects falls before they happen and it'll build bridges by itself and stuff like that so I literally just set it to dig one night and I had a hot bar of axes and I just let it go. <laughs> so, but this is the farm I was talking about where I'm going to automate it and just make a huge row of them. Or maybe a gigantic cube. But uh, this is because I need paper. I don't have any and I don't have a way to make bookshelves. So, obviously, I'm trying to get my enchanter set up, I need a lot of paper. But, you know, with this client, life is a lot easier. So it's very simple for me to do everything that I need to do thanks to the WWE client. I used to use Aristois, as you guys know, and I used Liquid Bounce. 
neither of which I compare to anything as good as WWE, especially with uh, having, you know, the creator of WWE client being so open to new features and being willing to add them. Um, any other client uh, creator is usually really mad if you, for some reason, suggest a feature. So, I've never understood that, but it just is what it is, and you just gotta live with them. So, I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, go check out WWE Client, because it's an awesome client. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.